next a UFC welterweight division matchup. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it in the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people so, believe, yeah, his opponent is in a so, world of JK. trouble. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Super. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 169 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong, international. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge and the striking to carry them to victory. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cover. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes quite the size. This guy today is looking at focus mints in his opponent. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Went for the inside leg kick. Circling to his right. Hands high. Let's go, guys. Work. And he landed the 
right hand there. Well, missed on that one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, and he caught the kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. And going back to the jab just out of range. Force the takedown. Let's get busy with those hands. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Nice body kick. Let me see it Beautiful body kick. Oh, beautiful execution. Oh, plans and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping his guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Single collar tie now. And they separate. <laughs> Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Big all punch land. Now he gets back to range. Drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hand right back to his face. Five minutes in the books. Settle down. Listen, he's on way too many body shots. Way too many. You're way too good for that. All right, you gotta protect your body. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I mean, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Big head kick land. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Looking to land the leg kick now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Timely defense there, huge block for him. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, it comes high kick, and you're in a lot of trouble. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Dig and kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in this second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Blocks the shot. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at the turtle. Oh, oh, he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent. Oh, right oh, now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Two minutes now to go. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Right hand on point. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And a miss with the right hook. Nice strike. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice leg kick lands. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result.
Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. That punch, no good. Punch over the top. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish. Oh, down. he might be out. to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Oh. He didn't like that right hand. He's a pro. He's hurt bad. Oh. 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 He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he got it bad! Well, he's got his back now. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Big kick land. Punch coming, it's blocked. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight, really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of round number three. We're going the winner by Knockout International. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.